Oh, um, in terms of requirements, um, I think for minimum for GCSE, you need an A or A star for each of the subjects you plan to take on day level, and at least a B in both maths and English. So, like, for example, like you have to take chemistry, and I think now they're starting to make it that you have to take biology for A, for a level. So make sure you do quite well in those in the GCSE, but you don't necessarily have to do double science or triple science, it doesn't matter, as long as you get an A star. A star is yeah. absolutely necessary. Yeah. Uh, well, you can get away with a high A, I think, but yeah. then it's getting really hard. To be honest, medical school doesn't, in their prospectus, they don't differentiate what you need to get, but when we've been, we've gone through first year now, just asking around your peers and stuff, you, there is sort of a minimum requirement mm. that in A level you do need your three A's. Um, for me, because I did the fourth subject and both, like, I did biology, chemistry, and then I did two RT subjects, like uh, history and RS, they weren't that concerned with them. So they said I have to get an A in biology, chemistry, and then just an A, a third A, right. um, and then you can get a C in the others. <laughs> so not necessarily the subjects you're taking from GCC to A level, you have to get A stars in or A's, but your science ones, and maths and English I think is B minimum requirement, mm. but if you could just get A's, it helps. <laughs> okay, <laughs> good. Study. Okay.